Yeah, shout out to Billy Rowd that y'all did well. But ain't nobody give a damn about that. This is the main piece today, baby. Oh! This is the main piece today right here, baby. So, Japan is Samurai Blue. It has been officially announced that they will be playing Brazil in one of their World Cup friendlies. What do you think about this, Jake? The U.S. better start taking notes. This is a crazy fixture for Japan. I couldn't name, and I would be shocked if you fact-checked this, but I don't even know if they played. Maybe once or twice? You know, maybe once whenever uh, Japan got invited to the Copa? You know, they probably That's played once. my only guess. But, like, other than that, I mean, maybe in the World Cup once or twice, mm -hmm. but... I mean, it's got to be single, like one hand, you know, counting oh, yeah. times that they played. I'm so saying I think, sub three, dude. Yeah, so I think that's a huge get for Japan. Um, that's exactly what they need in order to get prepared for the World Cup. You know, that's what friendlies are supposed to be. You know, you want, in my mind, if you have three friendlies, you want one that you are better than your opponent, you know, to build some confidence. You want one where you're on equal mm -hmm. level and one where you are the smaller fish you know, and this is Japan's, we are the smaller fish, you know, how are we gonna, you know, take it with, with our group, you know, and how, and how are we going to deal with some of the best footballers in the world? Mm -hmm. And no, I agree. The country with the most historic world cup, uh, uh, I guess pedigree, you know? So I, I, I do want to ask you in a moment, what you think that confidence builder should be for Japan? Because um, I agree, you can't just go up against like Brazil, Argentina, Spain. Because if you lose fourteen nil on aggregate, well, then I mean the lads might rebel. So you got to yeah, have like, yeah, like that one that beatable you? team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like at one point, there's just no. You're at, you're staring at the whiteboard, and you, like you get all these negatives written out, like shit we need to do better at, and then like the good side of the chalkboard ain't got a single bullet point next to it. Yeah. Um, I looked it up. So they've actually played twelve times. And then makes sense because they played each other in the Confederations Cup four times. So the Confederations Cup is when like uh, the winner of the Asian Cup plays the winner of Copa America, which makes sense when you think of it like that. Because like yeah. Japan, one of the best Asian teams, Brazil, the most successful South American team. Like, of course they're gonna see each other. Um, and in that competition, Japan has never actually Japan has never beaten Brazil ever. They've lost ten times and they've drawn twice what's your reaction to that disappointing no it, it it's not unexpected you know I, I, not not one they don't sneak one win in there at tokyo stadium dude i mean i couldn't name in my mind and please comment if i'm completely wrong in the comments um in my mind, Japan hasn't been good really until the last 20 years. You know, they haven't really been relevant. Yeah. Or in a position to even even chance the the uh the chance of even scoring against Brazil, I feel like. You know? Like I feel this current squad, this current uh this current Japanese squad, they could probably score one. You know, I think stopping Brazil from scoring is is always the hardest would be massive with yeah. how they destroy their qualifying if they if they draw nil nil against and brazil brings a good team that would be massive mm -hmm. absolutely massive so on aggregate the last four times they played each other brazil has won 14 to 1 yeah so they're averaging four goals a game. Japan scored against them yeah. in a friendly in 2017. Actually, not too long ago. Okay. So, you know, that's recent. De decently recent. Um, But yeah. Neymar scored in that game. Neymar, Marcelo, and Gabriel Jesus all scored in that game. Anyways, yeah. I, I'm, I was very excited. That's why I sent it to you immediately when I saw this. Because... I think Japan, they get a bad rap uh, just because they're Asian and people think that Confederation sucks. And it, if they can do something, I mean, if they beat Brazil, 
My lord. If they beat Brazil, if I was Germany or Spain, I'd kind of poop my pants a little, I feel like. I'd be like, oh shit, this isn't going to be a, you know, a walk in the park mm-hmm. against these guys. Yeah. You know, they they probably have to rethink things if somehow Japan beats Brazil. So who do you think is a good European team for Japan to schedule a friendly against that might be that confidence booster that you mentioned earlier? They have to be European. I guess they could schedule another South American friendly, yeah. But you're you're gonna you gotta think one of their friendlies has to be European, right? I mean, they drew Spain and Germany. Yeah, yeah. Um, for Europe, shit, Italy. Do you think they could comfortably beat Italy? I think that would be a good. We're on the same playing field. The champions of Europe? Who didn't qualify for the World Cup? They're in the fucking dumps. They beat the U.S. ass right now. Italy? They would beat our ass, dude. Come on. Dude, they would destroy us. They have no The midfield heart. would eat us alive. They have no heart. You gotta believe have in a, the Japanese. They don't have a 10. That's why they suck. Okay. So yeah. you're saying Italy's I mean look, enough. I would I would love if they did play Italy. I just don't think it's a layup. Like that'd be a great friendly, don't get me wrong, but I don't think that's like I'm thinking seventy five percent likelihood of a victory or more. That's that's Sweden. what I'm thinking. Mmm. I like that. That's a great fixture. Sweden. They got good people, uh they got good pe- uh good attackers, you know. Mm-hmm. They got Alexander Isak and uh you know, they got my boy Alonga up there. Yeah. You know, people who can be a threat but aren't super experienced. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I think that would be a good test for, That's for a good Japan. Shot. And I think Japan could probably win because I couldn't name a single damn person on the back line. Oh, I guess Lindelof. So. Yeah, it shows his quality. Yeah. So. Man, you fan, you can't name one <laughs> Swedish defender. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, I just named it. I just named oh, it. Oh, my God. Who else is a defender? For Sweden. Bro, I can't name a single fullback. Is Horvath? No, that's our fucking goalkeeper. Nam, I don't know, dude. I don't really know too many. Uh, I know more Danes than I do Swedes. That's a good game. Um, that, I, would, I would love to see Japan versus Sweden. I think another good game would probably be... Hmm. It might not be 75% winnable, winnable, but Croatia, I feel, would be a good game for them. That would be a midfield test. It would be. Yeah. Wataro Endo would be, I mean, he'd have to put in the game of his life. Yeah. To beat Kovacic and Modric, yeah. But I think Junior Ito would cause some problems. Yeah. Um, I know Croatia's got one, one uh, good defender. Couldn't tell you his fucking name, though. I don't remember in the dude it's the dude who plays for marseille isn't it he's pretty young too yeah like he's he's got two last names if i remember like something yeah. carter i i don't know but no yeah. i i know exactly who you're talking about he is supposed to be very good and i'm sure that he yeah he yeah but one player eventually. yeah but one player can't make up your back line so do do ye d-u-j-e do jay coletta car 24 years old center back yeah he had a god awful game against Feyenoord. He was shit that game, but I know he's actually that's just one game. I know he's actually good. 